<laughs> hey, I don't do that shit. <laughs> nah, but what's good with it, y'all? What's good with it, y'all? I was gonna make a video about today, my experience about today, but um, I don't know. I feel like y'all would get tired of, you know, just hearing the same shit. So today shall be story time. But let me, let me just talk about one thing right quick. Uh, so far, the main thing that I do not like about this uh, drug course is the fact that um, she she treats me not not that she treats me, but she like interacts with me as if I had an alcohol problem, as if I got a DUI or a DWI, which I didn't and I don't. You know, um, she's always asking me about you know. And I, I, it's mainly, it's not, I don't, I don't think it's her. I think it's a program. It's one of the, the main guidelines is like, oh, the low risk factor of zero, one, two, three. And all that is, is uh, uh, drinking. It's about drinking. And it's like, um, uh, what is it? You know, zero is, you know, zero drinks a day. And then uh, standard drinks. Standard drinks is uh, one 12 ounce, 5% alcohol beer can <laughs> like why the fuck I mean I guess I was kind of sound like an alcoholic you know for just saying like why the fuck we just drink one beer but um I've done it before so I, it doesn't matter and, and then uh two is two standard drinks and then three is three standard drinks and she's talking about oh you know the the you know the most you should have at any given day not any given day, but you know, the most you should have per day, per week, is two standard drinks a day, which is two beer cans, 12 ounce beer cans at 5%, or, and or, uh, what was it, five ounces, five ounce glass of wine at 12% alcohol, or a 1.1 ounce shot of bourbon or whatever at 80 proof so that, that that's that's what that was and like i said i don't i don't feel like it's you know applicable to me i don't drink as much as i smoke because i don't like it as much as i like getting high you know what i mean like getting high so much better than alcohol the only difference is is that one is legal up man and one isn't you know anywho story time i'm gonna tell y'all the time about one time that i shit my pants oh yeah i shit my pants quite literally um what had happened man what are you, what are you looking at bro yeah yeah i mean i know you're looking at me anywho um what happened was, man, like, I was in kindergarten or first grade, one of those two. I was at the old Pink Hill School. And, uh, you know, we were all, I had to, I had to, I had to poop in class, but I was like, oh, we about to go to lunch. I'm about to ask the teacher if I can go to the bathroom on the way to the cafeteria. And, that, you know, that was my plan. That's why I had hope would happen. And, um, so, you know, I was like, fuck it. Or maybe I did ask her and she's just like, wait till lunch. I don't know. I don't remember. But um, the point is, we're on the way to lunch. Any of you that have been to the old Pink Hill school, like y'all should remember that, that like right to get, to get to the cafeteria, that ramp, like right outside and right, right like in front of the playground or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Like, it's all oh, Pink Hill. I love it. I don't understand why we switch classes. I mean, we switch schools. It was fine. It was fine. Anywho, uh, we were at that ramp. And so I asked my teacher, I was like, hey, may, may I go use the restroom now? And she's like, nah, just wait till after lunch. And I'm like, God dang, what the fuck? And I mean, I'm just looking around and shit. And I'm like, I'm like, man, I gotta take a shit, man. And I think I asked her like one more time. But I, you know, I wasn't as, as assertive as I as I was in my teenage years, but I look, man, I gotta take a shit. I'm gonna shit my pants. You know, I was just like when I was when I was. Don't get me wrong. 
I still like, I mean, throughout my entire life, I was like, at least I think I was like, you know, the class clown, or I like, I'm not gonna say I like being the center of attention, because that's not it, you know, I get nervous every now and again. I just like entertaining, which is one of the main things, one of the main reasons I, um, do this YouTube channel shit. I know I'm not getting like hundreds of views and I don't care. It's just like a, it's kind of like a, a pseudo social interagment thing for me. You know, I can go on about this all day, but uh, I, I don't want to. Anywho, um, and like, but I, like I was saying, I wasn't as assertive then as I was in my middle school years or in my high school years. And, um, so I was like, you know, I gotta go use the restroom, man. I go use the restroom. She's like, no, nah, I just wait till after lunch. And I was like, man, so I just kept my mouth shut. And I, I mean, we were waiting in line, we were waiting in line. I'm not sure if some of y'all remember, but sometimes, like, we were waiting in line for the cafeteria a right good while. And so I was just like, I, was like, I didn't know what to do, man. I just couldn't hold it anymore. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. You know, if doo doo drips down my pants, it, it drips down my pants, man. Like I said, I was in first grade. I don't know, like what, six years old maybe. And uh, at that point in time, I was still wearing tidy whities And um, and I just, you know what? I was like, maybe I just let a little bit out. I feel a little bit better. Uh, and I let a little bit out. I didn't. I didn't. I did not feel any any better. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna let most of it out or if not all of it and that's what I did I just I shit my pants man I blame a teacher to this day but I don't remember what teacher it was I know I remember I know it wasn't Miss Butler so I had it in my first first grade year Miss Butler was great and what was her assistant uh Miss Miss Brown I think I don't know but the point is um I shit my pants man it was real embarrassing for me although nobody knew it up until now, I don't. I told my I told my friend about it not too long ago. I've had shit my pants twice, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys about this one only today. Um, what was, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, like, and then I'm just like, fuck, you know. And then I was in the cafeteria line. I was just, you know, getting my food and shit. with shit in my pants, you know. And I couldn't do nothing about it. I done fucking, you know, shit in my pants. What was I supposed to do about it? And then, uh, so I just kept on, I got my lunch, and I, you know, I'll be honest with you, man, I sat down and shit, I sat down in my shit, and I, I mean, what was I supposed to do, she wouldn't let me go to the restroom, I sat down, ate my lunch, and to be honest with you, I went through the whole entire fucking school day, you know, and I felt that shit come out my ass, and I felt it, they are like little rabbit turds is what it were, it wasn't like a big old dump, nah, but, um, um, and I just went on through my day, you know, I got on the bus and did all this, did all that. I think my brother was like in fifth grade at that point in time, or maybe he was in fourth grade. I don't know, but the point is I was still going to elementary school with my brother, and I didn't tell him about it. I didn't tell nobody about it. I was like, you know, I'm just going to pretend like everything's fine, you know, I don't want anybody to know that I shit my fucking pants, because then I'll be remembered forever as the kid who shit his pants, you know? And I don't care about it now, you know, I'm fucking 20 years old. If you're going to pick on me about that, fuck you. Um, I, I, you know, I go through all this and all that. I go home, you know, and first thing, the first, first place I go to in my house is the fucking bathroom. I'm like, look, I got to, I got to, you know, clean up this shit in my fucking drawer, you know. And at this point in time, I didn't really feel it in my ass as much as I did at first. But uh, I was, you know, still a bit there or whatever. And I go to the I go to the bathroom or whatever, get to the toilet, sitting on the toilet, sitting on the toilet. Anywho, I get to the toilet, and um, I pull down my drawers, and man, there ain't nothing but a little turd there. You know what I mean? It's like one or two turds. I'm like, what the fuck? And like, you know, I, like I, I don't fill my ass with my own hand. Like I get some toilet paper and I, you know, I just like brush my, my ass off. There ain't no shit on my ass either. So I'm just like, what the fuck happened? Like, where, where'd all that shit go? Like, is my ass a Bermuda Triangle and shit just disappears there? Or like, what? And I don't know, to this day, I have no idea what the fuck happened to my shit. 
it just went on my ass. You know, and I'm pretty sure I took a shower. Because, yeah, you know, it's nasty. You know, I, I took a shower and shit. You know, and get the shit off my ass in case, you know, it's there and I just can't feel it or whatever. And, um... I don't know, man. It was just, it was just weird, and it was, it was embarrassing. I mean, now it's not. It's just fucking hilarious. But yeah, when I was in first grade, I shit my pants. But um, I don't know. There was another time I shit my pants, but that's for another story. Y'all, I hope y'all like this story. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends. I don't feel like I cussed a lot in this video. Then again, I remember because I used to smoke so much weed. <laughs> um, you just you just share it, man. Show your fam, show your friends, show your cousins, your neighbors. I mean, your pastor. Just like, look, man. He's Catholic. No, I'm not. <laughs> I just I do this ironically. Anywho, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.